Yeah man people, welcome back, welcome back to the channel man, bless up with yourself, you don't know me I say, yeah, good morning to the people, them. good day, good evening, good night man, whenever you guys really watching it, but the morning inside that you hear, I can, for you guys, you know, I really love this show, the morning inside is such a beautiful show, you know, but first thing, you know, bless up my mother, you know, you know, proud of you, you know, um, hope you cook the people in food really good and, and you know spoil the the rice or you know overcook the chicken meanwhile you're watching the sun by youtube yeah but bless up yourself hope you're having a wonderful lovely morning you understand um but people yeah good morning to the people them you know welcome back as i said to the morning in salaman you don't know um i'm going to touch on three things today you know i'm going to talk about dexter lemekisa isaac Eden, and louis baker yeah but you don't know it is just a little bit over 24 hours before that Stephen McLaren first 23 Rasta man unveiled to the public. You know we can't wait. You know will there be a, a, a surprise player on that Rasta that will never yet play for the reggae boy, or will we see back someone on the Rasta that we never see for a long time? You know I'm just waiting for it, and I think there will be surprising players on it as i think just look around this the, the, the spectrum of what is really going now with the players and you know i think some big faces won't be there and i think we will have that one surprise and you'll be like huh is he back in the squad or is he get left out of the squad like you know there's always that little um that little jinx you will call it you don't know um whenever a, a squad name for the reggae boys always that little change it's always that little soap opera always that player you know easy or him should have never did it or that player should have did it you don't know but i mean look it is a it this going to mark the the steve mclaren era this new era you know and it is a start over business you know it is a gamble a gamble that i'm willing to take if a manager don't want to be at the helm of the reggae boys you know bring in somebody that who is going to be happy around the players and someone that who is going to be driven you know his commitment and his passion towards the players and man. you know try to make the program go a little bit further than where it was you know previously under different managers yeah but I mean, we didn't forgive the manager a chance. I have said it. I'm going to back the manager to coach our national team. I trust him. You understand? But I mean, hopefully we can see some changes moving forward. They don't know a lot of people out there want to see a direction of how the football should play. You know, we want to see not just pretty football, but we want to see something that I can get the best out of the players. As you know, when play people talk about the reggae boy team, it's pure ability pure talent pure potential in this team established premier league players yeah that's what i mean i say so people just want to see the growth and people want to see the development and people want to see how the team can actually unlock the potential that they're supposed to be doing over the years you understand so hoping you know, that stevie really can bring in the new gems unlock that new features unlock that new levels you know in the rest of the players and you know push the team further you know up in the um the fifa rankings we want to rank back in the top 50 you know i think one time we used to rank like around 45 at top of brought us there you understand but yeah they don't know um steve mclaren first fixtures will be in september and i love to see what the jff is doing party 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 as you know jamaican people love party i hope that little thing that they advertising about you know after a party i hope it work i hope it work you know but again steve mclaren big up yourself you know willing to back the gaffer yeah willing for back the gaffer any any gaffer coming i might not like the decision i might not like the um the appointment but you don't know i'm willing for backing he's a man that going to bring us to the next world cup but yeah all right let's don't talk any further and you know go into the video look i have done a video yesterday about i'm concerned about some of the players and that really not getting enough game time you know people that who fall out of favor you know in the squad you know who get kicked out of the senior team who is not playing any game in the first team you know who is sitting on the bench you know uh, it, it's it's we have a few players let's be realistically we have a few players that really not getting much game time people that you know trying to find clubs but dexter lembekisa you know this is a pure natural talent you know i think us as a reggae boys fans we have seen the best of dexter lembekisa in 
March when they played that Nations League semi final and they run. I think did he play it in? I, think, I don't remember if he played in the. Um, I think he played in the third and fourth game. Yeah, I think he played in the third and fourth game against Panama. Yeah, but I think we have seen that's the best of him we have seen since he made his perfect. He's made his international debut for the Reggae Boys. And look, let's go back a little bit. We wind the tape. Go back to in the summer of twenty twenty three. Uh, you say yeah in the summer of 2023 you know look he have played you know his, his his first full season as an academy product in in the under 18 under 21 and, and he played loads of game the end of the season in the 2023 summer and then you know that that year yeah i think the 2023 2024 season yeah he have gotten that loan deal to rotterdam you know a team that you know, i'm relegation fight team you know down there in the championship and look he have signed up with them with a season long loan with a with he, he had a clause in his contract that he can be recalled um at the start of the new year which will which will mark the start of the transfer window and they trigger you know wolves trigger that deal and guess what they recall him because a bigger team was on the agenda but before we go to that bigger team which was arts at the time stick up in right there so the the the, the part where manager you know um i think his name is his name is steve davis yeah wolves part where manager and matt Hobbs, the director of the academy they assess you know um dexter lemekis and they saw the growth that he and and the progress that he've made throughout that season playing in the under 21 and the under 18 for the academy at the time and they was like okay you know i think this player is really ready to go out there and experience loan football so what they did is they shipped him to a team that will always be defending will always be on the back foot in the game because they they want to you know get the best out of him they want to um let him be in a team where he's going to be defending 1v1 all the time you know develop that side of game of him and he have played really well you know that alpha that alpha season that he spent you know um between i think it was august and january yeah he got called back on january the 10th of 2024 that spell he have made 27 appearances yeah he have made 27 appearances in all competition i think he played in 25 championship games and starting 22 of them he only missed one game and he scored a goal i think he scored a very good goal at Norwich city as well and then a few days after they shipped him out to the premiership up north after Bada to arts at the time you know but, but before i before i go to that when he left Rotterdam, they were seven points above safety, so they were fighting for their life. But they want him to develop that side of his game, one v one, defending against wingers all the time. And he could see that he gained a lot of strength, he gained a lot of progress in that department. And they're like, okay, since this transfer loan deal was under radar to a bigger team, a team that is fighting for European spot they recall him because they have a clause in his contract they can recall him and they recall him a few days after they shipped him out to arts at steven naismith team and they are third at the time yeah third at the time they finished third in the season you know they were playing you know in european football at the time and guess what the reason for dexter lemekisa to go to arts team they're looking at this and they're looking at how they can develop this player as he's one of those academy player that you know he signed a contract a three and a half year deal you know um in in january yeah january the 27th of 2023 so he has two more years left back on his contract his contract will end in the summer of 2026 yeah and guess what look at this now so sending him to arts they want to develop his final third game you know that is attacking part of his game you know trying to get an end product trying to get goals and assists yeah in that in that department and we have seen dexter lemekisa a new player after the gold cup yeah you could see that when i was watching him you know during the nations league groups yeah, you could see that look 
this player have changed yeah he have changed drastically is the, the, the progress and 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 his growth it have grow really fast over time and when international football break in november he have like december january february march so the january february march he was playing loads of football for arts in the premiership in scotland in the spl scottish Premier League. and arts is a team that they will always have majority of the ball in the scottish Premier League. so he will play in that three at the back for the regular boys and also he was playing three at the back on the Stephen A. Smith team at Arts. So looking at it, they want him to make that transition. They want him to make that growth, their progress in the final third year. So it was a it was a um, strategy for Wolves. You know the development man, the, the the pathway manager Steve Davis and the director of the academy Matt Ob. So they were looking at how they can really get his his his, his development go rapid over time and they did an excellent job they did an excellent job and he played what 17 games during that spell because he was actually fighting for his spot in our team he was actually two very good fullback at the club at the time and they were rotating rotating but he managed to play 17 games from midway january until the end of the season in may and that was a very good loan spell and at one time they were looking to get back the player and loan but you know wolves never really in that direction as things were really looking for him to go into the first team after he come back from the copa america but i don't know what happened after the copa america you know dexter lemekisa came back after the copa america he went on break he actually cut his vacation you know as i heard you know a week short he came back he didn't play no preseason with the first team nor with the academy yeah rumors now start to go on around that you have clubs like um at the time in the summer yeah um ipswich kieran mckenna was looking at him you know to bring him in on a permanent contract you know um lincoln city as well a team in the lower tier of england were looking at him to bring him in as well on a loan move and they were looking at other options how they can bring him out and loan to see if he can make more progress in a loan spell you know i think um over i've moved on to loan but the eye opening was that signing that brazilian kid his name is pedro lima yeah i remember what team pedro lima is coming from but they signed that player in i think it was last month they signed pedro lima for around 78 million he is the he is a new phenomenal wonder kid for wolverhampton in that right back position semedo was was out because of suspension semedo played semedo and dexter lemekisa played in the academy football um game i think a couple of days ago you understand but i'm looking at it how they managed to reach this direction of dexter lemekisa like a player that was moving towards the be that man to be in that right back position is it that gary o'neill doesn't fancy the player anymore or what i don't know but listen this was what you know wolves pathway manager steve davis has said about the kid you know during his time i think they when they recall him back from from um rotterdam in that alpha season his defending has improved yeah the amount he has had you know to do but you know this is what they have to say when is going to hearts in the in in the um in the winter period he said his defending has improved with the amount he has had to do but we just like to see an all round performances no an all round game on consistent basis hopefully he can do that at, hopefully he can do that at arts as well so you could see that they're looking at them trying to progress him into a more all-rounded um right back this is why they shipped them out to hearts a team that will have most of the ball majority of majority of the game is going to be controlled by them in the spl premiership yeah so you could see that why what i'm talking about it's right there yeah but you have also i think you have also said you know um that his toughest defender his toughest opponent that he have he have um come up against was um 
I think it was Alfonso Davis. He said it, it, that was his toughest opposition he came up against at the national level. I think I have. I, I also have a clip for you guys. You know, listen to what Dexter, De Dexter Lembekisa have to say in this. The team's well, you know. You also scored that night. Talk us for your goal. Yeah, it was good, man. Um, I saw Al. He was on the left. Um, he's a, he's a good one v one player. You know, he, he likes to get a lot of crosses. In, so I was just lingering around the back area and then. Um, it was a great ball to me, so all I had to do was make make contact back across the goal, and, and I did so. Yeah, that was amazing. Yes, yeah, so people. Um, so I'm saying, man, you know, he's not, he's nowhere around Wolves for um first team. Wolves have played an EFL Cup game yesterday. He was, he wasn't nowhere near the first team. He wasn't even in the squad for the EFL Cup game. You know, so I'm just saying, man, is it time? As a, as Dexter Lemekisa, two more years left back on his contract, twenty year old, you know, season that, that just passed. That's his first full season as a pro. You know, see, is it that I'm forcing it, exaggerating, and things like? Is it that give him a little bit more time around the whole team, or see what it will, what will happen? But I don't know, man. I don't know. But I think he needs to move on. Is he going to get another loan deal? And he's going to come back with one more year left back on his contract and then, you know, go somewhere or he's just going to run down his deal at at Wolverhampton. But I think, you know, the best thing for him is to if the club not if the club cannot promise him a step up to be that regular starting right back or to be the second starting right back in the Wolverhampton setup. I, I, I think the best thing is to, for him to just move on, find a new home, 20 year old. It's nothing if you if you make the step down to the championship and find a very good championship team. As I stated, Kieran McKenna, the Ipswich Town manager, were also looking at it. He was one of the options. Yeah, he was one of the options before he signed that West Ham right back. You know, he was one of the options to place at right back for Ipswich. And also, teams are looking at him. You know, Oddersfield Town were looking at him as well in the summer. You know, Lincoln City, you know, were looking at him as well in the summer. So, um, let's see what's going to happen, you know, for Dexter Lembekisa. But I think this player has loads of potential. You know, his growth, his growth and his improvement over the last 12 months, it is so fast like everything just happened so fast for him and you know you could see it in whenever he come and play for us you know in the nations league um last campaign you know you could see it and you could also see it in the copa america he's a fit lad and he kind of get a little bit bulky you know you could see that like he's spending you know a lot more time in the gym you know but i don't want this season to start and the transfer window end and he's still at Wolves and he's playing academy football and sometimes that can you know bring it bring back your level and the confidence you know so I'm, I'm just saying man you know the transfer window will close in what just around 24 hours you know um after this video published so um let's see what's going to happen but look um look one more thing who you guys really think will be a really good CDM for us? Is it Louis Baker or Isaac Eden? You know, I think we have like both both um type of players like that in our in, in our midfield, you know. Isaac Eden is a player that you know can drive the football forward, you know, someone that can play that box to box. Meanwhile, you know, Louis Baker is a player that can sit in the hole, you know, sit in that midfield, anchor the midfield, you know set the tempo of the game you know um you know he also um comfortable collecting the ball you know with his back to goal and turn with the ball and you know push the team up you know set the tempo as i said play the ball out and you know um he's a kid again he can do everything that a midfielder is required to do he can play in a number 10 he can play in a eight he can play in a six and at the level of kankakaf i think he can do a really good job you know with his with his strength and power in that midfield look at all you know his best one of his best seasons when he played under Steve Bruce, you know, he was playing really well and he was matching up to some of the best midfielders in the Premier League. But after after a couple of loan deals, man, you know, things just went down the hill. I look, I think there's a player still left back in him. I think there's a player still left back in him. And then Lewis Baker, a player that this is his last year. Yeah, this is his last year in um in the um Stoke City Colors. You know, it's, this is his last year left back on his contract i think if he stayed by the end of the transfer window i think he will run down his contract and you know we move on to free but look let me tell you 
I would love to get both players, but I'm just saying if we should get one, I probably would just go with, you know, because Isaac Eden can play in eight or that six more prolific than he could play in ten. He could play in ten, but I think he he's a real good player of playing in that number eight, having that CDM right behind him. I put him in that CDM role where he can anchor things and you know um direct the traffic and where all we need the football to be played. You know, but tell me what you guys think. You know, who will be the better player in the midfield for us? Is a kid or a Lois Baker? But people, thanks for watching. You know, one more day, one more day left back before that big big unveil for the 23 man squad coming up for the game against Cuba and Honduras. Bless upon yourself out.